today I come to you with a very different kind of video. One that I am not happy to be making at all. Last night on the 23rd of June 2024, my friend Caroline in Fort Worth was arrested by the Fort Worth Police Department, Officer Matthew Kruger. After she was taken into custody, Carolina was transported to a local hospital that has a level 1 trauma center where she is receiving treatment for the injuries that she received to her head during the arrest. At the time of this recording, it's only been a few hours since the incident occurred, so we don't really have any information on her condition. Thankfully though, Carolina was live streaming as the event occurred so that we at least know what happened. Carolina is somewhat famously known for requesting jail rosters in an attempt to make sure that nobody ever gets lost in the system, which does happen from time to time. Ironically though, that is exactly what has happened to Carolina in this situation. After Carolina is received at the hospital, she will be known as what's called an in-custody patient, meaning the hospital's really not supposed to publicly acknowledge her existence at all. And what that means is, if you were expecting her to come home last night, and she didn't, and you got a little bit worried, so you called the hospital to find out if maybe she was involved in an accident, uh, they would tell you that they had no idea what you're talking about, even if they were looking right at her. So you call the police department to find out if maybe she got picked up, because let's face it, Carolina is a little bit of a mouthy one, isn't she? So uh, you call them and find out, and they would say, we don't have any record of her because she's not in the jail. And if you call the police department, of course, they will never make a comment because there's an impending investigation or whatever excuse they come up with at the time and they'll probably redirect you to the public information officer where you leave a message or send an email and hopefully one day they'll get back to you, but probably not. While this is breaking news and information is scant, we do have reason to believe that Carolina's injuries are serious as evident from her recording of the event as well as Manuel Mata's coverage this morning when he returned to the scene and found blood and what he identified to be human hair embedded into the concrete. Of course, I'll post links to both of those original videos in the description. I'll also post a link to my secondary channel where I will combine the videos and trim them down for time. Please understand that the content of these videos is graphic and we may have very well witnessed the last cop watch of Carolina in Fort Worth. This case dramatically highlights what Carolina, myself, and so many other cop watchers have been saying for years. That allowing these loose cannon cops to continue to be on the force is dangerous and eventually somebody will get hurt. He has only been on the force for about three years and since that time has racked up multiple complaints against excessive force and reckless abandon for public safety. People will often criticize us and people like us for being, as they say, anti-cop. Well, I for one am not anti-cop. I am just anti-spiking little old ladies' faces into the concrete. I'm about to play a segment of Carolina's video for all you gore whores out there, but while we're watching this, I just want you to remember that Carolina is a human being with a family and a whole life outside of YouTube. You should ask yourself if her choice to be an independent journalist had anything to do with Officer Matt Kruger's reaction. And I would like you to comment down below if you think Matt Kruger would have had the same reaction if Carolina had just been any other regular old mother asking questions about parking validation. Okay, here it says, here's a sign. Does anybody know how to do these? This is what the sign says. I gotta, I gotta scratch, so let me focus in. Here's what the sign say. The sign say, validated parking, please register upon parking. Business is can then validate parking for Folk Street warehouses. Ways to validate. You can scan the QR code or text pay. Failure to pay or extend time may result in boots. Okay, so how do they know if they paid or not? That's what I want to know. How do they know if they paid or not? How do you know if they paid or not? How do you guys know if they paid or not? Oh, they're going to ignore me too. Help! Rape! Fire! 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 That's great community relations too. How do you know if they paid or not, ladies? Hey, ladies, hey, ladies, hey, ladies, hey, Kruger. No, I'm not going to the floor. Go there's no investigation, there's no nothing. You can go to the other side of the street, you're going to get arrested. I'm not warning you again. What are you talking about? Go to the other side of the why? street. Why? Right Wait, tell me why first. We're doing an investigation. Right no, 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 I'm not under it. Okay, you go. Stop resisting.
stop resisting. <laughs>